friends in today's video let us try to understand what is the determinant method for the solution of linear equations in two variables which is also called as a cramer's rule first of all to understand this method we must understand what is a determinant to we'll start with the basic to understand firstly what is the determinant suppose any four real numbers are given to us then if we write those numbers in this sequence a b c d it is called as a determinant and here a b c d are any real numbers a value of this determinant is obtained by having the product ad minus bc so for this determinant we have to take a product of a and d that is the first term of the first column and the second term of the second column that is Firstly, we must multiply A and D. That's AD minus. Now we have to take the product of BC. So AD minus BC. This is the value of the given determinant. We must take care that the product we have to take must be in this manner. That is, the first product must be of A and D, and the second product is BC. So in this sequence, we have to take a product to find the value of the given determinant. So this is the determinant. Now we have to use this concept of determinant for getting the solution of two simultaneous linear equations. Now let us illustrate this by one example. The question is find the value of given determinant. So the determinant a is equal to five, three, seven, nine. So as we have just studied, firstly we should take the product of five and nine. Minus the second product is seven into three, so we have five into nine minus three into seven. We get five into nine, that's forty-five minus three into seven, that's twenty-one. If we subtract twenty-one from forty-five, we get twenty-four. So twenty-four is the value of this given determinant. So this is how we can find the value of the given determinant. Now we have to use this concept to solve. Two simultaneous linear equations in two variables. Let's see how it can be used for the solution of simultaneous linear equations. So that method is also called as determinant method or Cramer's rule. For this one, let us consider two simultaneous equations: a one x plus b one y is equal to c one, and a two x plus b two y is equal to c two. So here are these. Two simultaneous equations in variables x and y. These two linear equations are there, and a one, b one, c one, and a two, b two, c two are the real numbers. In this case, we can observe that c one and c two are the constant terms. We'll call this as equation number one and two, respectively. Now, to find the solution of these two simultaneous equations, we must have one formula. So from this one, we have to find three determinants. The first determinant is d, which is obtained by getting the coefficients of x and y in both of these two equations. That is, in the first column, a1 and a2 are written, which are the coefficients of x in equation one and in equation two. And in the second column, we have the coefficients of y in these two equations. That is, b1 and b2. So here in the second column, b1 and b2, that is the coefficients of y, are written. So this is done to get the determinant d. Now to find the solution, we need the second determinant, that is dx. So as we can observe here, the first column in d, a1 and a2, it is replaced by the constant terms c1 and c2, and the second column b1, b2. Which is written as it is. So this is the determinant dx obtained by replacing the first column by constant term. In the same way, we can find dy. In this determinant, instead of the first column, the second column is replaced. If we consider a determinant d, in that one, the second column b1 and b2 is replaced by the constant terms c1 and c2, and the first column a1 and a2. Which is written as it is. Now, by having these three determinants, that is d, dx, and dy, we have the formula for finding the values of x and y. Because 
eventually when we solve any equation we find the value of variable that it contains so here we have to find the values of x and y because x and y these are the two variables in these two equations so to get the value of x we have the formula dx divided by d so whatever determinant we get here dx we have to divide it by d to get the value of x and similarly the value of y is obtained by dy divided by d so these are the two formula by which we can find the solution of given simultaneous equations now let us illustrate this by one example question is solve the following simultaneous equations by cramer's rule the first equation is 5x plus 3y is equal to minus 11 and 2x plus 4y is equal to minus 10. So first of all, let us write these two equations one below the other. The first equation is 5x plus 3y is equal to minus 11 and 2x plus 4y is equal to minus 10. First of all, we have to find the determinant d and for that we have to write the coefficients of x and y respectively. So the coefficients of x are 5 and 2 so that are written in the first column. Coefficients of y are 3 and 4 so that are written in the second column to get the determinant d. Now we should solve this to get the value of this determinant. Let us solve this determinant. It is 5 into 4 minus 2 into 3. So 5 into 4 that is 20 minus 2 into 3 that is 6 that is equal to 14. So the value of d is 14. Now the second determinant we need is dx. So in dx we have to replace the first column of d by the constant terms that is minus 11 and minus 10. So here in the first column we have written minus 11, minus 10 and the second column as it is 3, 4. Again we have to solve this determinant. It is minus 11 into 4 minus minus 10 into 3 that is equal to minus 11 into 4 that is minus 44 minus minus 10 into 3 that is minus 30. So this minus minus will become plus. So the equation will be minus 44 plus 30. So the answer is minus 14. So the value of determinant dx is minus 14. In the same way we can find determinant dy by replacing the second column of the determinant d by the constant terms. So the second column is replaced here by constant terms minus 11 and minus 10. And the first column as it is 5, 2. Again we can find the value of this one. 5 into minus 10 minus 2 into minus 11. So 5 into minus 10 that's minus 50 minus 2 into minus 11 that's minus 22. So again here minus minus will become plus. So minus 50 plus 22 the answer will be minus 28. So minus 28 is the value of the determinant dy. Now by having these three determinants we can find the values of x and y as x is equal to dx divided by d. So here dx is minus 14 divided by d is 14. So minus 14 by 14 that is minus 1. So the value of variable x is minus 1. And we can find the value of y by the formula dy divided by d. So dy here is minus 28 divided by d is 14. So minus 28 by 14 that is minus 2. So the value of variable y is minus 2. So hence x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to minus 2 is the solution of these two given simultaneous equations. So this is how we can find the solution of given two simultaneous equations using Cramer's rule.